Hi, this is Dave Muir with Skyway Software. And in this video, I'm going to show the My Clips for Spring scaffolding capability that is now available in Spring Source Tool Suite. So jumping over to STS, you'll notice I have STS 2.5 RC1 installed. And what I plan to do is take a couple tables from my Amazon Oracle database, run it through scaffolding, choose all of the front end options that you see here, Spring MVC, Spring Webflow, Adobe Flex, Google Web Toolkit, and iPhone Web, and run that application on my Spring Source TC server. And so the first thing I need to do is create a new project. And I'm going to choose Dynamic Web Project, but you can, you, you can choose the Spring Template Project or a Maven Web Project, whatever you want. I'm going to uh, create a name called uh, Customer Orders. And just go ahead and click Finish. Now since I'm scaffolding for GWT, I need to add the Google tooling to this project. You'll notice I have the Helios Google plugins installed. And what I need to do is go to the Project Properties and find the Google Preference and then Web Toolkit and indicate that I'm using Google Web Toolkit and then uh, specify the Word directory. So I'll click OK. That adds the Google tooling to my project and now all I need to do is go to Scaffolding. So I'll right click the project, choose My Eclipse, and choose the first entry scaffold spring crud application. This shows a wizard. Uh, it's very easy to use. You, you have a sidebar on the right hand side to help you through each pane. But in this case I'm going to choose database schema. You'll notice I can choose from a Java Bean or a JPA entity. Uh, the next pane allows me to choose my database connection. And then I'll choose my schema and bring over a couple tables. It'll be the customer and customer order tables and I'll select all. I've got a lot of options here in these wizard panes to customize uh, how scaffolding generates. I can choose my project, uh, my package structure, and, um, and this is where I choose my front end options. So I'll choose all of these options. Click Next. And again, more options like flex versioning, um, front end options on how things should be displayed, how it's generated, where it's generated to, and what version of Spring, what libraries to include. So I'll click Finish. So once scaffolding is complete, I now have an enterprise Spring web application that is ready to run or is ready for me to dive into the code and continue tweaking it based on my project's requirements. Great news is that scaffolding just saved me days, if not weeks, on my project's setup and dev time. And the other cool thing with scaffolding is the generation is completely customizable. So if I needed to scaffold my company's look and feel or certain coding standards, I can now do that with my Eclipse for Spring's customization projects. So before I throw this on the Spring Source TC server, because I have GWT, the one thing I have to do is compile, uh, do the Google Web Compile. So to do that, I right-click the project and go to Google, and then choose GWT Compile. I'm going to remove these front-end module or entry point modules and just go ahead and click compile and I'll let that run. And so after the GWT compile I went ahead and added the customer orders project to SDS and started it as you can see here. So I'll just bring my browser on over here and you'll notice I've got uh, my local host server uh, up and running. I've got all my front end options here so if we quickly take a look you can see that Spring MVC contains all the create, read, update, and delete operations for not only the customer but it's children, so all the relationships are also supported. The same thing is true with the rest of these front-end options. Webflow is the same interface, but it just has a Webflow backend. Adobe Flex has the more uh, RIA type look and feel, and you can see it's got some really nice componentry here when creating both objects and their children. And the same thing is true with uh, GWT, so I've got a um, you know, GWT Google looking uh, app here and I can go in and view customers, view their orders and do all the create, read, update, and delete operations. For iPhone what I'm going to do is bring over my Safari browser and all I need to do is paste in the URL and because my Safari browser has a user agent detection of iPhone you can see that I've got the iPhone application, the look and feel here and I can go in here and edit, save, delete all these entries. So thanks for taking the time to view this video and be sure to take a look at all the other resources we have online.